Om Namah Shivaya. The greatest revelation of this universe, it is God realization. What is God realization? It is all about knowing who am I. It is about knowing the essence of the existence. What makes me alive? It is my breath. As long as I'm breathing, I am alive. But what makes me breathe? What makes the wind blow? What makes the water flow? What makes the flowers bloom? It is this essence, the core of existence, the source of all, which is God, or which is the pure consciousness, which is everywhere, all pervading. And God realization, it's about unfolding this wisdom within. What we cannot see physically with our physical eyes, we have to see through experience in the meditation. What we can see with the third eye in between the two physical eyes, it is aspects, dimension of the divine. God realization is really about experiencing and also about the ability to access the Shakti energy, the power of the soul, the power of this inner divine goddess within ourselves. We can see in the world that political power, financial power, any kind of power in the world, it's not really working in the sense that there is a disharmony, there are conflicts in the world. And the moment we realize that we have to turn inwards in order to change something, to contribute something, it starts within ourselves with the question of who am I? And transcending the dualities and the conflicts within ourselves, it's going to have an impact also in the outer world. It's a twofold path. On the one hand, there is the outer way of achieving God realization. And on the other hand, there is the inner way. And both are part of the one path. It is about really aligning with the source, aligning with your inner self to get to the state where you can feel what is right for you and what is not right. What works for you, what doesn't work. It's not about someone else telling you what is good for you. It's about you yourself feeling what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So the outer aspect of the God realization, it's about service. It's about contribution, about giving. Master Shiruji, who has trained me, explained and also exemplifies it, that God, it means giving only divine. It is when we contribute with a smile, with good words, with listening, when we give, when we contribute with our time, with our talents, with our treasure, then we are in service of the Divine and we accelerate our path towards God realization. And the inner path, it is about going within to transcend everything which prevents us actually from recognizing this Divine potential fears, doubts, questionings, to be or not to be, it gets clarified internally. So Shiva Dhyana Yoga meditations are a very powerful method which allow you to transcend the apparent contradictions, the apparent dualities, and really get back into yourself to realize the divine and to understand 
that God is in us. You, me, we are not separate from each other. We are not separate from the world. The inner and outward, it's not separate. We are all one. The divine, it's outside, it's in the sky, in the whole cosmos, in the whole universe. And it is also inside. Now, we speak of God realization because it is about actually experiencing it, actually seeing the light within yourself and also within the others. It's a realization, an experience. It's not a theoretical knowing. It's not an intellectual process. Intellectually, we can understand that one particle is part of the whole, but it's different and it's then it becomes our truth when we actually experience it, when we realize it through the meditation process. So when we study for an exam, when we want to learn a discipline, it's an intellectual process and we have a certain methodology of reaching that. And in the same way in the spirituality, when we go into the meditation, it is a process, it is a tool to actually realize it practically. So if you think about your life, the quality of your life, ask yourself, how is the quality of my personal life? How is the quality of my professional life? And how are my relationships? Is there anything which you would like to improve, which you would like to see differently? So the first step is really to start enjoying yourself, like not to get up, drag yourself to work, drag yourself to do things, but rather to get up, to connect yourself with this light, with this source, with this empowering energy and then everything changes the whole life changes and all these aspects in your life change also because this inner light it's ignited and the difference is that what you will be doing it's going to be doing things with awareness with awakened state of consciousness so even if you go to the office um, if you continue being in the same relationship this, what is going to change is the way you perceive things and the way you're going to express yourself, the way you're going to transform your life. And what is going to transform also is the feeling of that things are happening to me, that I am the victim of the circumstances. I am the victim of relationships and all that. Instead, you're going to feel that I have this Shakti, I have this power within myself and I can change, I can create. So it's not like a feeling that life is happening to you, but that you start shaping your life, you start creating your life the way you actually want to have it, the way you want to shape it. And that's like what changes everything. When we are entangled with the daily life, the activities, when we are entangled with the outer world, then what is important is to step back, to take a moment to see your breath and to really to ask yourself, who am I? I am not this physical body. I am not my thoughts, like the constant inner dialogues, the question marks, um, the expectations, uh, the insecurities also thinking what other people are thinking about me. This is not who I am. I'm also not the anger against things which are happening, which are not peaceful or which are not making me happy. And I'm also not jealousy. Uh, towards people who I feel have achieved something which I have not achieved. So this is really about going a step further or at the same time going deeper within and really connecting with this light, with this inner power. It's like 
plugging in the power to the divine. It's like plugging in yourself to really connect with energy and to be able to receive energy and then also to give. Because when you breathe in, you have to breathe out. So when you receive something, you have to give. It's very important always to think about how can I contribute? How can I do something? This is really something which changed my life. Um, what I have learned from Shiva Goruchi, that instead of complaining and blaming others, that rather ask yourself, okay, how can I contribute? Or what can I give? What can I do to make things better? And this can be in the context of an organization. It can be in the context of a relationship, of the family or of friendship. You can change, you can evolve because every day is new. So God realization, it's about going beyond the conditioning, what you have learned, what other people taught you what is right, what is wrong. Like really, instead yourself feeling what is right for me, what really corresponds to me, who really I am. And God realization means to reach a point where after searching for many years, many lifetimes, that you actually, you find it, you get to that point. You get to the point where you are in synergy with the divine. And in that moment, everything changes. And this is beyond a religion. It's beyond the science. It's really about being able to use the divine power, the Shakti energy, in a positive way for yourself and also for others, like really to understand your purpose in life and reach to the state where you're not searching anymore. Like, I need to get this to be happy. I need to do that to be happy. I need to go there and to this. It's like, it's, it's a constant search and also dissatisfaction. And from there you can actually shift and it's not something you can gain through books. It's not something you can get from somebody else. It's really, it's about going inside and the search ends and the relationship with the divine starts. So one thing is like speaking about the divine, about God, about all the positive things, saying prayers in whichever way you love to do it. This is very beautiful. And the next step, it's really connecting consciously. And Shiva Dhyan Yoga meditations are a powerful way of doing that, of really connecting within with the divine. And it's a commitment also to tell yourself, I want to know the truth. And the way of knowing the truth, it's experiencing it within yourself. It's really connecting with the divine in yourself and feeling that I am in service of the divine. So internally you're transcending the barriers which prevent you from actually feeling that, yes, I am one with the divine and externally being in the service, being in the contribution, being in the state of giving. And in that way, life becomes beautiful. Life becomes a prayer. And for that, I would love to chant a mantra for you, which means that my soul is thine. I am in service of the divine and my whole life, every breath, every action, it is in your service. And this is what I really wish for all women, to be synergized with this divine within, to recognize I am the goddess and I am light, I am energy, I am this divine beauty. 
and I am independent. The moment we look for affirmation, we look for appreciation, we look for others to tell us that what we're doing is good, we depend on them and we give them power over ourselves, over our lives and over how we feel. Instead, take a stand for yourself, for your own happiness and declare that I am the goddess, I am master of my life, I am creator of my life. Om Namah Shivaya. Atma Tvam Girijapati Sahajara Prana Shariram Gruham Ujate Vishayo Pabogarajanaha Nitra Samadhi Stiti Sanjara Padayo Pradakshina Vidi Stotrani Sarvagiro Yadya Karma Karumita Tadakilam Shambhu Tavarahadhanam Om Namah Shavayam